Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of Hamdan Foundation and the AFQM, I would like to thank you all for joining us today, either here at Hamdan Foundation headquarters or online on Zoom, as we have 50 schools joining us online. We are honored of the presence of Dr. Jamal Al Mihiri, the General Secretary of Hamdan Foundation, and Mr. Russell Longmuir, EFQM CEO. We are also pleased to welcome the school's principals and representatives. Today, we will learn about the EFQM Hamdan Education Model and the EFQM Hamdan Global Educational Award. At the end of the session, you can raise your questions and comments. And now I will leave you with Ms. Isra Mubiyadin, EFQM Middle East Regional Director. Thank you all. Uh, good morning, everyone, and thank you for having me here. As uh, uh, Salma mentioned, my name is Isra Mbaydin. <laughs> uh, I'm the EFQM uh, Middle East Regional Director, and we are, uh, what we are going to talk today about the EFQM Hamdan Global Educational Award. The agenda for our uh, meeting today is an introduction. And then we will talk about the award itself, the award process, the submission document, the next steps, and if you have any question and answers. I'll start with an introduction to EFQM. It's okay. EFQM is a non-for-profit foundation. We are based on member, membership-based organization. Our office is based in Brussels. However, we have a global reach in different countries around the world, including, of course, the Middle East. Our purpose is to build a better future for the people, for the communities, and for organizations themselves. We offer different uh, activities or different services to our members, including connection, where we connect people together through our technology platform, facilitation, where we facilitate and help organizations to, to monitor and evaluate their performance, recognition, we also uh, recognize organizations and we also recognize individuals through our certification. And finally, we provide insights to help organizations to improve and, uh, and get some in innov innovative uh, solutions. As Hamdan Foundation, uh, we, have, we are sharing one common objective. So EFQM and Hamdan Foundation have decided to work together and develop an educational model. Hamdan Foundation was established in 1998, and its vision is to pioneer the leadership of academic performance excellence, gifted education, and innovation. And as you see, we both share common language. We both want to help improve organizations, and that's why we have combined our efforts to develop the EFQM Hamdan educational model. What is the objective of the model? The model is actually uh, developed in order to recognize outstanding schools worldwide. We have also uh, created this model based on a very challenging assessment process. Our assessor feedback will provide you with a, with a wealth of value adding inputs and this will help schools to improve and eventually improve the quality of education. The report is also reviewed and uh, looked at by an independent jury who is going to decide on the level of recognition. And of course, during the assessment process, the schools are going to gain a lot of insights from the expertise of our assessors who are coming from a global and local environment. What would be the benefits of a school to participate in such an award? Of course, the first benefit is having international visibility, since the model is actually developed against best standards around the world. You will also receive a high value of feedback, and this feedback will help you to identify areas for improvement and improve for the future and eventually improve the quality of education and the educational outcomes. You will be able to showcase your achievement as a school, and this will be visible to everyone across EFQM community, which is a global community, and of course, Hamdan Foundation and the region, the Middle East region. Finally, you will be motivating your, your people. So people will be motivated because 
you will be achieving good results. They will have the motivation to improve and do better. I will give a brief about the EFQM Hamdan educational model. Of course, this model have been, we have worked on the model for uh, several months and it was released initially in 2019. And as you know, we had the COVID and then things moved slowly. So we couldn't really work more with the schools to be able to conduct the assessments. The model is very simple and it consists of three main pillars. You have direction, execution, and results. And under each pillar, you will have criteria uh, that will consist of this pillar. So under the direction, you have purpose, vision, and strategy, and you have organizational leadership and culture, organizational culture and leadership. Under the execution, we look at three criteria, engaging your stakeholders, and this involves all the stakeholders that work with the schools, whether it is the students, the parents, the, the community, the government, the suppliers, so everyone that is actually involved with the school. Then we talk about creating sustainable value, and this is the core of what the school will do. So what are you delivering as a school? And you will see, once we go into the criteria, what does that mean? And then we talk about driving performance and transformation. And under this criteria, we focus on things related to risk management, using all the technology, innovation, uh, finance management, and the, the elements that are related to the performance of the school. Finally, we look at the results. And under the results, we have two main criteria, stakeholder perception, where we expect the school to measure the perception of the stakeholders that they have identified under the direction and that they have identified how they will work with under the criteria of engaging stakeholder. And then we look at the strategic and operational performance. If you, once you, you go into the model criteria, you will see that we are looking at different results that you achieve in the school. And of course, this will be divided into strategic and operational results. Then the other part here, the other image is actually what we call it the radar, which is the assessment tool that we use to assess whatever you have done as a school under the direction, execution, and results. And basically, we will look into very simple points. So we look at your approach. Do you have a process, let's say a process that take into account the stakeholder needs? This process that you have in place or practice is actually fit for the future. So you will see in the model that we talk about, do you have a curriculum? And then is this curriculum fit for the future, for example? Uh, then we look at the implementation. So any practice you have in place, how do you implement this practice? And is there a flexibility in the implementation? And finally, we look at the evaluation and improvement of this practice. So how do you make sure that what you do in the school is actually effective and you are achieving the desired result that you want to achieve? And finally, how do you improve? So assuming you have a way of communicating with the parents, for example, and you find out that there is an issue when you measure the effectiveness of this activity. So now you say, okay, now I want to start with a different way of communicating with the parents. So you make some changes and adaptation to the activities in order to improve. And this is the way that we evaluate anything going under the direction and execution. When we go to the results, we evaluate in a different way. So we make sure that are you actually measuring the right things? It's not just to measure, it's not just to have figures. Are you measuring the right indicators? Are you looking into the right results that you want to achieve? Are these results, do you have targets? So do you know what do you want to achieve now and in the future? And then uh, are there improvements? So are your results improving over time? Of course, there might be a question. We had COVID, our results went down, what will happen? This is something that will be as a school, you can explain to the assessors and you say, because of this, our results went down. However, we have taken this measure to improve in the future and to overcome this challenge. And finally, we look at the comparison. So how is your result comparing to, to the others? For example, let's take TIMS and PISA results. You have your school results, and then how do you compare to the average or the best in class, the best schools? So this is some type of comparison that we need to see. And we look also at 
Okay, anybody is asking. And uh, we look also at the confidence. So are you actually going to maintain these results that you have achieved in the future? Or the, sorry, the future focus. The future focus is looking at the results. So what results you have achieved now and how you are going to achieve the same results or better results in the future. So what you do in the school in order to improve your performance. This is in a nutshell the model, but of course, we are going, once you decide you want to go for the assessment, we will give you more details. And I'm going to present to you as well uh, the different routes that we have for the assessment cycle. So we'll have something very simple, and then we will have very comprehensive assessment, which will be for more mature schools. These are the criteria of the model. So if you see here, we have under each criteria, we have what we call criterion path. So 1.1, for example, define the purpose, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1 1.5. And if you are going to apply for the full award cycle, you are expected to explain what are you doing across the different criterion paths. However, if you are applying for the simple one, you will be able, we will only be answering a few questions for, for the different criteria. I'm not going to go through uh, each element of the criteria because this will take a lot of time. However, just to highlight some of the points, if you look at, for example, if we talk about the uh, culture of the school, we talk about the conditions for realizing the change. So how do you manage change within the school? We talk about enabling creativity and innovation. And whatever we talk under the direction is actually setting the foundation. So as a school, what, is, what have you decided that this is the culture of your school? This is how you are going to define this culture. And what do you have in place for this culture? When we talk about engaging stakeholders, you will see that we have defined six stakeholder groups. And we expect you as a school to explain what you do with these stakeholders. And of course, the stakeholders that are coming under engaging stakeholders will be already defined under the direction because we need first to understand who are your stakeholders. And then when we talk, sorry, sorry. when we talk about uh, creating sustainable value, this is the core of what the school is doing. So we talk about the educational strategy, we talk about the curriculum that you have in place, we talk about uh, how do you use assessment in the school, and then we talk about how do you manage and enhance a caring collaborative environment. So basically this is the core of what you do in the school. Then when we talk about driving performance, you will see that we talk about performance in general. So how do you balance between the performance and making improvements and transformation in the school? How do you manage risk? How do you transfer your school to the, for the future? So there is a clear focus on the mid model on what you do to be able to meet the future needs as a school. And we talk, of course, about technology, we talk about assets and resources, and we talk about having innovation across the school. And in the results, you have some examples of the results here, but you will, you, you will define the results based on your school environment and based on what you have as a school, what is expected from the government, for example. So there will be specific indicators for each school. So going to the award process, uh, before we start with the two routes that we have, just to explain to you what is a key element of a successful assessment. So basically, you will have an assessor team who is going to work with you in partnership. It's a partnership. It's not that they are just coming to find mistakes. Uh, you will have an agreed time scale. So for each school, and as you will see in the next step, we will agree on a timeline for the assessment. It is a fair, honest process, and it is, uh, it's going to be with a very professional behavior, and this should be from both sides, from the schools and from the assessors. And the assessor team will be working as a team, and this is what we focus on. We want to have team. There are specific competencies we look at when we select our assessors. And of course, it will be a team effort from the schools and the assessors and the award office. For the assessment and after we have been trying to do the assessment for 
long time since we launched the award. And due to the COVID challenges, we have decided to come up with two routes for the assessment. The first one is the simple one, which is what we call the qualifying program. And it consists of specific steps. It starts with you providing an application form. It's a very simple application form for us to understand your school, just in general, what is the school name, who is the principal, how many classes you have, the curriculum, things like that. And then based on that, we will say, okay, you can go ahead and participate in the assessment. Of course, you need to keep in mind that this assessment is, there is a cost for the assessment. However, uh, we have some schools that will be sponsored by Hamdan Foundation. And we will give the details of the prices. Uh, once you, you say, okay, I'm interested, we can give you more details. After you submit the application, we will be providing you with a coach. And this coach will help the school to fill in a questionnaire, which I'm going to present to you later. And the questionnaire is very simple. It is in our digital platform. And you will be answering few questions and you will be rating yourself as a school. After you finish the, the questionnaire and we see where do you stand, you will be working with this coach to prepare a presentation. And this will be a very short presentation that you will be presenting to the assessor who is going to assess the school. After we finish the presentation, we will have, of course, the assessor who is coming to evaluate the school. This would be through a simple presentation. He might have short interviews with few people. And then this could be either face-to-face -face or an online session with the school. The assessor is going to provide the feedback report. And this feedback report will include areas for improvement and recommendations for the school. And if there are any good practices that we see in the school, we are also going to highlight these good practices. Once we finish all of that, you have the feedback, we will not stop the journey. We are going to work with you to work on an improvement plan. So we will work with the school to develop an improvement plan. The coach will come back. So you have the coach helping you with the questionnaire, with the presentation. You have the assessor who will be a different person. And then you will have the coach who is going to help you in the plan development. So you will work on an improvement plan and this will help you to go for the next level. Of course, we will have the award ceremony and all schools participating will be receiving a certificate from EFQM and Hamdan. And of course, we expect the school to implement the improvement plan to be able to participate in the next cycle. Now, if you are a mature school, you want to go for the next level, we can, we will, you can apply for the Global Educational Award. This means that you are going to compete against other schools. In the first one, you are not competing, you are participating to receive a certificate to, to improve and to achieve better results. Again, we are not going to leave you alone. We have what we call an impact workshop. And this is a series of different workshops where we will work with the schools to develop the submission document because you are now going to answer for every single criterion part and criteria of the model. So if you don't have such experience and if you don't have people who are going to be able to work on that in the school, we are going to help you uh, by assigning a coach. However, you need to have a core team across the school for the different criteria who will be working on the submission. After you finish and work with the coach, and this would be approximately 10 days, and I'm going to explain the details, then we will go to the submission. So you will be submitting the file in the digital platform. Once we receive your submission, we start planning with you for the site visit. And we agree on the timelines, who are we going to interview, the site visit is typically up to five days, so three to five days. And then we will have the site visit, so you will have a team of assessors. As you see, we have said three to five assessors, three to five days. days. This will depend on uh, the size of the school. After the site visit, of course, the assessors are going to work on a feedback report, which will include strength areas for improvement and the scoring for the school. Based on this assessment, we will have a jury 
who is going to evaluate what is the level that the school is going to achieve. And the jury will be from independent parties that will be assigned from EFQM and from Hamdan Foundation. And definitely, we expect the school also to work on the improvement plan and improve their performance for the future. Because you will see in, in the uh, outcome of each assessment that there is a specific rating. So you might say, OK, this year I got three star or four star. Next year or after two years, I want to apply and get the seven star. <clears throat> so. Just to explain the impact workshop, but I, which I mentioned that we will be helping the school when they want to go for the global award. We will have three series of workshop. Workshop one is where we are going to work with you on mapping everything you do in the school against the model criteria. So it's basically knowing that what I do is actually fit in this criteria. And you will have at the end of the workshop a list of the approaches or the practices and the results that you have in the school. Then we go to the next level. So we give you some time. This is could be four days of work. And then we give you some time to finalize internally. Then we go to the next workshop. In the next workshop, we start describing everything you do against the model and the radar, which what I mentioned to you, that this is the way that we evaluate the school. And I will show you what we mean by this when we go to the submission. And finally, after you finish again, you will have some time to finalize internally because you have a core team working, but you need to discuss internally and agree with the uh, different people in the school. After you finish, the coach will give you a feedback on what you need to improve, final feedback for refinement. So what you need to improve in the submission in order to be ready for the assessment. Uh, when it comes to the outcomes, we said we have two types, qualifying and the global award. For the qualifying cycle, as a school, you are going to receive a certificate of your participation. You are going to receive a feedback report, which will help you to improve in the future. And you are going to receive an improvement plan that you will develop uh, with the coach to be able to improve. When we talk about the EFKM Global, uh, the EFKM Hamdan Global Educational Award, we have a winner, and this would be for the highest level. So you achieve uh, a high score, and then you will be a winner. And then we have outstanding achievement, and this would be on a specific criteria. So it could be that you have outstanding achievement in innovation, in uh, I don't know students teaching, curriculum development, any topic that the assessors will be that there is really uh, a best practice in this school related to that topic. And then you have the lowest level, which is going to be silver or bronze, and this will depend on the score you are going to achieve. I didn't mention that the model is actually out of 1,000 points. So if you are going to be assessed for the award, you are going to be assessed against 1,000 points. Now, the AFQM model has been developed since many years now, 30 years. And so far, the highest organizations have achieved approximately 800 points. And these are organizations who have been really using the model for many years, and they are outstanding organizations like BMW. And for example, DIWA here, they have achieved approximately this score. So this is the outcome that's going to be achieved. And as I mentioned, it all depends on your score. And the jury is going to decide who is going to be the award winner or who is going to achieve outstanding certificate or excellent in one specific area. When are we going to announce the winners? Of course, there will be an award ceremony. And those who are participating in the qualifying cycle will also receive a certificate. We will have a recognition book that will include all the participating schools and if there are any best practices coming from the schools from any cycle. And of course, it will be in the social media and the news who are the participating schools and what they are going to achieve. What have, have they achieved, sorry. So uh, as I mentioned, there will be an application form. Sorry, we couldn't put the link here. Uh, the application form is very simple, and you will have one form if you are participating in the qualifying cycle, and one form if you are participating in the award. There is a fee 
that is included and the fee that is actually being uh, managed by Hamdan Foundation is assessment fees, which will depend on the size of the school. So that's why I said I cannot tell you now what is the price, uh, what, is, uh, what is the fee until we know the size of the school and the scope of the assessment. You might be a group of schools and you want to assess only one school and you want to assess only one cycle. So this will vary. Then we have the impact workshop because this is a series of sessions that will be done with the school. Of course, we have the assessors travel and accommodation if we have the assessors coming from Europe or they are coming from, uh, from the region. And we have the digital platform, which is an asset space license that we offer to the schools in order to fill in their uh, submission. Now, as I mentioned, Hamdan Foundation will be sponsoring some of the schools. The decision is not for us as EFKM, it's for Hamdan Foundation, so they will decide which schools will be uh, sponsors. And then if you are willing to participate on your own, we will share with you the fees. For the submission document, as I mentioned, we have a platform. You will use the platform for two things. For the questionnaire, if you are participating in the, questionnaire, in the qualifying cycle, and of course, if you are participating in the award. This is the platform. So basically, it's a platform for EFQM, and we have created a lens, which we call it Education Lens with Hamdan Foundation. So first, you need to register, create an account, and we are going to give you access in order to be able to use the questionnaire. This is how it will look like. You will see that we have what we call the Education Lens. And if you are going for the qualifying, you will be filling the first one. The diagnostic tool, what we call it, is for the submission document if you are going for the award. The questionnaire is very simple. You have only three pillars and you have few questions to answer. And you will be working with the coach in order to evaluate where do you stand. Let's assume you say I'm scoring 40 under this question then you need to have some evidences to support your answer. And this would be what would be validated by the assessor during the uh, interviews or the site visit. So these are the questions. As you see, we have direction. We have, for example, nine questions. We are, we are going to share all of this with you. Uh, we have under the execution because you have three criteria. So the questions are more. So you will see that we have 14 questions, for example. And then for the results, we have few questions now. The results are generic. It's combining perception and indicators. But when you provide the evidences, you need to separate them, of course. So this is for the questionnaire. After you finish that, you prepare the, sub the presentation with the help of the coach. Now, if you are participating in the award, you will need to fill more details. So you start first with key information that you need to fill about the school. And then you will need to start writing down what you do across the different criteria. These are the key information. And then you have for each criteria, you will have an overview view, view page, which will be summarizing everything you do under this criteria. And then you will be writing under each criteria what you do. So for example, we say here, we take designing the value or one of the criteria, and then you say, what do you do? So what is the title of the practice that you have in place? How do you do it? So you start explaining, how do you do it? And then how do you measure it? So what measurement you have in place? How do you make sure it's an effective uh, activity? What evidence you have in place? Who is the owner? Because the assessor typically, of course, he needs to know with whom he's going to speak. So you need to put down who is the owner. And we have what we call the EFQM link. This is the link between the different criteria and the practice you have in place. So that's generally what you will need to do across the uh, five criteria for each criterion part. Of course, some, some criteria may not be applicable or you don't have any activity, that's fine. You don't need to worry about that. And then for the results, you start putting which indicators you have in place, what is the description of the indicator. So basically it's an inventory of the results you have. We don't expect you to fill 
100 results because the assessors will not have time to evaluate all of this. We have a limitation. Even if we go to the, this one, you have only six approaches maximum under each criterion part. So you need to be clear on what you select. And that's why, say so we will have the impact workshop, we will have someone also to support you in preparing the submission. The next steps, of course, is to confirm your participation. We are going to, to share with you the application form. We will agree with you on a timeline for the coaching and for the impact workshop if the school is going for that. We will assign the coaches and the assessors for each school. And then we will finalize the plan. I mentioned that the assessment will take place in September because I don't think we have enough time to do assessments before that. Uh, so these are the next step for, for the schools. And thank you. If you have any question. Any questions? Are we taking questions from the web, webinar or? Yes. Honestly, I don't recall the, the numbers, but it will vary based on the school. Now for the assist, for the impact workshop, it will be approximately 20,000 euros because we are talking about 10 days of work. But we can provide you with more details based on the size of the school. So if you share with us the details, we can send you an official email for the cost. Yes. Well, now it depends on the school because we need to see what is the maturity level of the school. So if we are going to go for the award, we will have to have a meeting with you to discuss where do you stand. We get some idea, and then based on that, we can decide. I cannot tell you now what is the best option for you. Okay. The criteria is different. So this is, I, the criteria is different, but I think you would have an advantage because you have some idea about some the assessment and probably you have some evidences prepared already. Usually schools who are, I would say, schools who have been having high inspection rating might, ha might be able to go directly for the qualifying award, but it's a commitment. And you need to make sure that you have the commitment to finish the submission and uh, be able to participate. But I'm not going to say, no, you cannot participate. It all depends on on the level of the school. Yes. That's, as I said, it's not my decision. It's Hamdan Award who is going to decide after you submit your application. So you can have one-to-one -one discussion with Hamdan Foundation. Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. After you submit the application, we are going to decide if you are going to be sponsored or not. We are aiming to assess for the qualifying. We are aiming to have up to 15 schools. Uh, yes, 15 schools for the qualifying cycle. And for the award, I would say three schools for the first cycle. Yes, 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 you can. It depends on the scope. You can define the scope. It depends on... We will ha we have a specific criteria. So we are going to share with you after the session, we will share with you the application form and we have specified which schools can participate in the qualifying and for uh, the uh, award. We have fees for both, but if you are sponsored by Hamdan, they will cover. 
Yes, yes. <laughs> Hopefully, which is good. Our own voice chat, yeah. Okay. Welcome. Uh, okay, you have questions online. Yeah. Yes. هلا اول شيء بدك يعني بداية بدك انت تعطينا الابلكيشن فورم، تعبي الابلكيشن فورم، بعدين تقدر هلا الاسئلة على الكويستشنير موجودة على الـ على الاس سبيس اتس اوبن يو كان جو اند تشيك ات بس لا لا في حسب العدد حسب العدد يعني احنا في عنا كراتي يس Initial application في معلومات عن المدرسة. So we have the school, the school information, and then we have also the criteria for if the school is going for the award. There is a specific criteria which is explained. We have as well an applicant guide. So we are going to share with you one file which include all the details for both uh, cycles for both options, and this will help you also to decide on what you are going to do. So we will share that after the session. Yes. Shall I? Yeah, I never uh, So the first question, I guess all documents need to be in English, right? Yes. So for the documentation, we have a question about the documents. Now, the assessment is going to be in English for the initial stage. In the future, we might have, of course, uh, other, we, we might have it in Arabic. However, if the school is having some documents in Arabic, we will accept that, but we will need to have bilingual assessors. So we will have a combination of Arabic and English speaking assessor. The application, every submission will be in English. But if you have evidences in Arabic, this would be accepted. We might ask you for specific information to be in English, yes. Uh, okay, there is a question. What's the difference between the impact workshop and the full assessment? The impact workshop is only to help you to prepare your submission. The assessment is actually assessing the school after the submission. Okay, there is another question. Is this a word or a school accreditation process? And where we can find the document, the document contacting standards and the procedures. Okay, so this is not an accreditation. This is an assessment against the model, and based on the assessment, you are going to receive a certificate, which is a global recognition. However, the model is available. So you have, if you want to see the full model, it's available in the EFQM shop. And we will share the link with everyone after the session. And uh, we have also a free version, which is a short version of the model. For the questionnaire, the questionnaire is available in the assess space. Again, we will share the links for that. And you can directly access it. But this would be will not be just to go through the questions, but this will not be used for the assessment. So as a school, you can now enter there, check the questions and see, okay, I can answer this or not. I know I'm much higher than this. So this will help you also to decide which level you can go for. Even if you do submit, that's for you only. It's not, yes, 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 for the school. That's for you, you can, you can use it just to, as a trial for the school. So it's available to, to see what are the questions and evaluate yourself. Any other questions? Okay, so some people are asking for the Arabic version of the slides. Actually, we did it only in English. We can work on the Arabic version, but we will share the English version first. Yes.
we will assign as an award office. We, they will visit, yes. But of course, the, we have a process also when we select people. So we will tell the school, these are the assessors we have selected. That's the normal process. And then we say if there is any conflict of interest. So we look into that as well. Dealing with the same, they are not all fail the same way. You have a jury. It's not a decision of our one assessor. We can choose the assessor or coach or not. You or don't we choose. Assign. We tell you that these are the assigned. We give you their CVs. If there is a conflict of interest between the school and this person, then we assign someone else. Okay, thank you. Yes. الجائزة هذه للمدارس الحكومية ولا الخاصة ولا الاثنين؟ الكل. إذن إحنا معظم المدارس الحكومية نعرف إنها بالعربي وعندنا أدلة وايد فإنه شوف حرام إنه إلى الآن ما شيء ترجمة العربي ويترجم بالإنجليزي وليس العكس. الكوستشنر مترجم بالعربي. فقط. والنموذج مترجم بالعربي لكن الصعوبة راح تكون إنه إحنا we are starting for the first time. So for the first time we are starting. يعني انا بدي اجاوبك بالانجليزي عشان الكل يفهم لا يعني انا مستغربه صراحه لاني انا توقعت انه يكون عربي ويترجم لا وليس انجليزي ويترجم لعربي اتس uh, جلوبال اوورد ولكن ف... في البدايه لتحسين المدارس انا احتاج اني اتحسن عشان اوصل جلوبال اوكي سو وي تراي خلينا احنا حاولنا ان نشتغل مع مدارس باللغه العربيه وكان في صعوبه فمشان هيك قلنا رح نعمل انه يكون في كوتش هلا زي ما حكيت اوبشن اذا شفنا انه في ديماند كثير مدارس بدها تشارك باللغه العربيه وي كان ادابت وي كان تشينج بس الاساس حتى انه احنا نبلش في اول سايكل عم نحاول انه نخليها بالانجليزي بس بالضبط رح نشوف مع كل مدرسه احتياجاته يس از ذير اني سبيسيفيك فورمات اور In yes. PPT form or how it has to no, be done? No, no, it's a B BDF editable file if you want to fill the application form. For the submission, that's in the system. Uh, okay, online. It's, it's yes, yes. Okay. online. And we can give you a version which you can use offside as well. Is everyone will no. be everyone? Oh. There is a question what's the value of the award to the schools? Okay, so I mentioned this before. What is the benefit? Why shall we participate in the award? Of course, the value is you are going to know where do you stand against a global model that have been developed with uh, experts in the education field. And of course, with the EFQM, because we have the excellence model for more than 30 years you will receive a feedback report which will help you to improve so you will know where where are the good points for the schools what are your strengths and what are the areas for improvement this eventually eventually will help you also to improve the quality of education in the school the aim of the award is to help in improving the quality of education not only in the uae in gcc and also in uh, uh, globally so that's the main focus of the award. And eventually you will also receive a certificate saying that you are recognized globally by EFQM and Hamdan Foundation. Okay, there's another question. During the particip participation stage, is there anybody uh, like a guide whom we can refer to? Yes, you can refer to EFQM and to Hamdan Foundation. We will be supporting you from both sides. And we will share with you an email ID which you can share any questions uh, you have in the future. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> Yes. يعني في خلال هالفترة. آه. تم ترتيب الورش مع المدارس. 
طبعا احنا حاطين وي هاف سبيسيفيك تايم لاين وي منشن ذات وي ونت تو ستارت ذا اسسمنت ان سبتمبر ناو اف وي هاف سكولز جوينج فور ذا فول سايكل وي مايت دو سم ورك وذ ذيس سكولز تو هاف تو اكستند ذا سايكل ليتل بيت بيكوز ذي نيد تو ورك اون ذا سبمشن سو وي ويل بي فليكسيبل ان ذا اسسمنت سايكل وي هاف ذا تايم لاين ذات وي ونت تو finish i we aim to have the qualifying cycle finalized by october if schools are going to go for the award level they will they will have more time uh, to prepare so it will be the, the cycle would be longer for those going for the award because they will need more time to prepare and they have the submission should be received like six to eight weeks before the days the day of the assessment because there is a lot of planning that will happen. The assessors will need to read the submission if we are talking about the full award. So this will be taken into account. Yes, yes. Once we receive the application, once we say, okay, you are sponsored or not, we will tell you what is the cost and then you will need to make the payment, yes. Yes. Uh, and then our cycle. Yes, yes. Okay, so that we know that uh, we keep preparing yeah. till you notify us, right? Yes, we will notify you. We will have a time frame to notify all the schools. So now once we receive the application, we mentioned June, we, I would say we will have two weeks and then you will have the notification if you are going for this level or for the it next level. Till September, this is the deadline to, to be notified. Schools will be notified. Yeah, yeah. Because you are not working, yes. we are considering. Don't, yeah, don't forget that there is the summer break. Exactly, we are considering the summer break. Yeah. Yes. Any more questions? Okay, last question online. They're asking if there's a website for the award, like they can refer to. There's okay. So for the award, you will have some details available in Hamdan Foundation, for an EFQM website you will see an explanation about the education lens, which is what we have developed in Hamdan. And then you have access to uh, the access space platform, which will also help you to see the submission and the assessment. But mainly it will be on Hamdan Foundation uh, website. We will share it with you. Yeah, yeah, we are going to share it after the session. Yes. Any more questions or we are done? Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We have worried about some details, okay? Sometimes they want a website with something else we will not get. Or protect somebody who can will We will we will share with you. We will share with you the contact details. The coach will be assigned later, not now, not now. So for now, we will be supporting you, yes. But we will have representative from Hamdan Foundation and from EFQM, we will answer any question you have. We will, we will share. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to share all the details after the session. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you all for attending and joining us online. We will be sharing the application form uh, on your emails. And if you got any question or any further inquiry, please do contact us. Thank you.